at a local monastery at the top of, well, at one of the higher points of Pokhara and the view is spectacular it's quite rainy but this is monsoon season so it's no surprise and there's not many people around it's just myself and two fellow travellers and they are here Whoa! I want to join in their song. Yeah, I was like, they're <laughs> killing it. I'm in a bit of a weird mood today. I'm not in a great mood. My head's all over the place. But I think it's, um, Partly to do with the last few days, I've been very sick. I got sick in Kathmandu and I just got sicker arriving in Pokhara. Um, I had these strange dreams. I actually had a fever dream, which I did not expect. Namaste. Um, I, I, my first night here, I just, I couldn't really sleep so well. And I woke up in the middle of a dream, like I gained lucidity in the dream. And I actually, I think I was on a roller coaster with people. And I said, um, I said to them, oh, screw this, this is a dream. And I put my hand through it. And, uh, namaste. Namaste. Uh, and I put my hand through the people of the dream and they just kind of collapsed and that was it that was it the dream was over but then I kind of kept coming in and out of waking and dreaming and I found like this big black mass of flies uh, swarming from the bathroom to kind of eat me so that's freaked me out and it set the tone for this adventure I've not been able to eat anything my body's been rejecting things. Um, I'll leave the details to your imagination. Now I decide I will go and get a boat and go on the lake, hopefully. Something also that is strange that I've really had to uh, grapple with is I'm experiencing a lot of weird thoughts, like a lot of fear and paranoia and just general distrust of myself and others um, lately and I don't really know why because I'm quite an open friendly person I think but at the same time I'm this walking contradiction so I suppose um, Namaste it's this kind of weird process where I realize that when you kind of journey anywhere you're really just continuing to journey within the inner self and figure out <laughs> all the strange uh, tangles you've got inside yourself because I don't believe my distrust of others has anything to do with anything but a distrust of myself so we'll see how today goes <laughs> Incredible here, huh? Yeah. Are you from Pokhara? Yeah. Yeah. I'm 65. Good. 65. 65. Yeah. Have you always been? Yeah. <laughs> rowing boats. 65. I'm born in Lakeside. You're born here. In Pokhara. <laughs> mm hmm. Lakeside. I do 42 years ago this boat. Wow, 42 years. Yeah, I do this. And how, how is it? Has it changed a lot in? 60 years, Pokhara. Oh, many steep time, everything time, many building, many, many. Yeah. Before, no. About 30 years ago, this changing, 30 years ago. Mm hmm. 
30 years ago. Before, no. 30 years ago, it was changing. Wow. Many buildings, many, many, many buildings. But three years, COVID, nothing problem. Three years, no bigness. Yeah. Three years, no bigness. This is the Tal Barahi temple. And just up there is the Peace Pagoda, and further on is the Shiva Temple, which I hope to hike to soon. Hey. Isn't it funny that a dove is like a pigeon we all love, but a regular pigeon we have uh, mixed feelings about? He make baby. Oh, I see. Make baby. <laughs> make baby. So I look and the green child. I look. I yeah. go the green child. My wife, me go uh, December. I go December. Oh, to visit. Ah, uh, three years visa. Ah. Three years visa coming already. I applied three, two day, three day ago. I very quick coming my visa. <laughs> For how long? Three years visa. Three years. Ah, uh, coming back going uh, if you like. Yeah. Uh, you can go back and <laughs> forth. Yeah. <laughs> I I go December. December. After visa already come. I waiting. <laughs> Amazing. I go, uh, yeah, I go. Uh, Amazing. After three year, after two months, I go December meeting. Amazing. I buy shopping, everything. <laughs> you you've been to Australia before? Yeah, no, no, just no. first time. My parent time, I'm doing this water. Yeah. My parent time. Meat in cooking, uh, rice cooking. Uh, Making rice, making rice, and make a drink also. Making, uh, making in the rice, uh, rice also use this water. Making rice, you know, rice. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, vegetable, clean, everything do this water. But now, now no. No, now no eat. <laughs> and that's just because of the city and the tourism every, and. Every put put in uh, many many dirty water. And ah. other water drinking now. So in, thir in 30 years it's just got really, yeah, really yeah, polluted. Very good, very good, good water this, 30 years before. Everything changing. <laughs> yeah. Before not many hotels, <laughs> now many, many hotels. <laughs> yeah. Many buildings, many... <laughs> A lot, huh? Many house, lot of house. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? The world becomes more and more touristic. Uh, <laughs> Maniram. <laughs> That's a very lucky name. <laughs> I born in Holy time. Holy. You know Holy? Oh. In India, Holy the India. festival. Ah. Holy festival. Holy time. I, yeah, Holy time I born. Ah. Agun. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name is Agat. Agat? Yes, and you? Josh. Josh, okay. Josh, yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Agat. What yes. does, do you know what Agat means? Does it have a meaning? In, uh, in French? Yeah. Mm, not really. I get. It's, it's like the name of a stone. A stone? Yes. But it has a meaning in uh, Greek. Mm. But not in, uh, <laughs> no. Oh. Like, in Greek it means uh, good. Good person. <laughs> Good person. Oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> they never have bad meanings, do they? Names, really? Yeah, I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> and yours? Uh, I there is a meaning. I know it's like a biblical name, Josh. Yeah. But here, I've met a few people that when I tell them my name, they say it means like power oh, okay. or strong, which is quite nice. Yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. okay, <laughs> cool. I'll I'll take that. <laughs> I'd love to just write Ooh. and travel. Cool. Write books, write 
write poems, write whatever really. So write, write whatever I fancy. So that's nice. Yeah. Write about your travelings or just completely um, different things? I think I obviously as I'm travelling I will write about travellings yeah. because why why wouldn't I? I think it'd yes. be interesting. <laughs> um, and there's so much to write about when you're constantly moving, yes. meeting new people, yeah. uh, creating new adventures. Um, but um, I would also like to write like novels, okay. um, fiction. Um, I have no <laughs> namaste. <laughs> I have no clear idea as to how it will all come together. I just have faith. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Um, okay. But I would also like you, you were doing, uh, I would like to do some volunteering here in Nepal. Yeah. I would like to, there's, in Lalitpur I saw there was an opportunity to teach English Ooh, in a cool. Buddhist monastery. Okay. So I would really like to learn more about, um, like Buddhism really in general. I think it's a fascinating yeah. uh, religion mm. slash philosophy. Yeah. I've spoken to a couple of different people. Some people say it's not a religion, some people say yeah. it is. <laughs> That's true, yeah. We tell me no, it's a way of life, not a religion. Yeah, I keep hearing yeah. this as well. And I think it that's probably more correct. Yes. They I don't really same. worship gods or anything like this. It's more of a, a way of thinking. A way of thinking yeah. and mastering your mind and, and I, I think I all the Buddhist ideas are quite aligned to how I'd like to live my life. Yeah, that's um, true. Yeah. So I find that the the idea of working in a monastery, uh, teaching kids English, and then in turn learning more about mm -hmm. Buddhism yeah. in practice from actual monks. Yeah. Uh, I think that would just be an amazing opportunity, yeah, like the, yeah. once in a lifetime, really. So I think I will Absolutely. definitely do that. Cool. And like you, I think I would also like to go to these places that are less. Um, Less touristic, yeah. yeah. See, see some more rural Nepal yeah. and and uh, little towns. Mm. Um, yeah, I was super happy like to live in a rural area with a really like local people and um, like not non touristic at all. Yeah, and the people were just like amazing and crazy nice, like because they were so happy that <laughs> some people were coming to their city. Yeah, like, yeah. They were so nice, and I think. It's different lives than from here or in Kathmandu. I'm glad we found these footpaths. Yes. <laughs> I think they've made our life easier. I think they've cut the time. Yeah, totally. This month I I've noticed that it was uh it was a really time gain because also I was walking a lot in the mountains and every time I was taking the shortcut it was so so faster yeah yeah that sounds so cool to learn the mountain shortcuts mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was in Venice it was nice because once you get used to living there you know all the shortcuts yeah. and the little alleyways I've never been to Venice but oh you should go there. yes a lot of French people seem to go to Venice. Yeah, it's so near to France. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's kind of like, you know, Paris is this like romantic city to so yes. many people. I think Venice is also the same. a yeah. very romantic city exactly. to people. So I think if you're a bit of a romantic traveler, <laughs> you should see Venice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Namaste. This Gambon? Yeah. This oh, thank you so much. <laughs> For the stupa? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Very, very done your bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. Good job we have locals here. Yes, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we would have like continued for whew, hours and hours. And how are you going to get to India? Well, by plane or by bus? I think I'll just cross by bus over land. Okay. Okay. This? Huh? Be careful with this. It's the oh. worst. Like, oh, okay, you have already. What? Okay. Oh, it, it just, sticks? Yes, it just sticks <laughs> on your clothes and then. Oh. oh. And then you just, like, 
uh, spend hours to, to remove them. Uh. Oh my gosh. Looks like I'm doing that later then. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to the statue or? I don't know. I'd like to, but it looks far. <laughs> I have um, bumped into a lovely French traveller called Agathe. And we've just journeyed to the Peace Pagoda. And now I take a rest. I eat some soup before going on to the statue of Shiva. And this is my view. Yesterday, uh, when I went on the boat with Money Ram, the name of my boat uh, pilot, boatsman, uh, he told me that today is a special day for um, fasting, fasting in the name of Shiva, so I thought it would be appropriate to visit this statue that dominates the hillside and looks over the town of Pokhara. Uh, and I will use whatever strength I have to get there. <laughs> I have about an hour's walk from here now. Um, and I'm hoping it's a testament to mind over matter. Whew. Now this is the way to see Nepal. Get high in the mountains. <laughs> it's freaking epic. Beautiful. Really indescribable. Okay, I take this path, I think it's a shortcut, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Namaste, Shiva, this one, oh, Daniabad, hot. <laughs> Uh -huh. but, but other zero and 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 Kiran Kiran Paragas. Ah, okay. Paragas means it is it is uh, sky sky over over them. Shiva, ah, Shiva over them. Yari Yari is Shiva. Ah, ah Shiva is uh, ah. Ajna. Ah, Ajna. Ah, Shiva. The third eye, Ajna. Ah. Shiva eating Gyan. Gyan means very gold golden eat. Golden years. Ah, golden years. It's a golden years. Ah. No Shiva there is it. And uh, um, a good mantra for Shiva is like uh, Om Namah Shivaya. Shiva one, only one. Many people, many people. Uh -huh. Every people. Okay? Okay, okay. Uh, um, Father Shiva. Father Shiva. Uh, Shiva. Shiva. Uh, I am a Shiva uh, student. Ah, student. Uh, oh, cool. But a son, son and small, small son. I am uh -huh. Amazing. I am college uh, reading, reading uh -huh. sometime, every time, every day, every day morning time. Yeah. Uh, one hour uh, college. Uh, but okay. Uh -huh. They are from five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah. oh, five minutes. I will uh, I'll figure it out. Dari 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 yabad. Very better. Very better. Uh, Tira Nam? My name is Babram. Babram. Uh, ah. what, what is your name? Josh. 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 But uh, which country? England. Ma motherland. England. Oh, yeah. Motherland. Okay. Are you from Nepal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is from Pokhara. Mother, father. Pokhara. Uh, Pokhara and certain country. Country means uh, second country. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Daddy, 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 you uh, Have a nice day. Uh, Take nice. care. Okay, I guess we try this way. Follow his advice, Babram. Babram or Babram, I think. And here I am. Hmm. 
I think. It's completely mad, you know, how the mind... The mind just distorts your sense of who you are all the time. And the reality is you're just... Um, well, you're a different person every day. You're a different person every hour, even. And it's so funny that I should begin in such a state of sickness that I see, I project um, delusion um, onto the, on, on top of reality, like a layer of delusion in which I, um, I can't, I'm fearful and paranoid of people, uh, which is mad because um, Nepali people are incredibly friendly and really, really warm-hearted. It's when we get these mind storms, um, sometimes we can get a bit lost in the source. Um, but with every mind storm, is an opportunity for transcendence, man. I also took this little footpath before, and uh, that was just based off like complete gut instinct. I just thought this footpath must lead to it, right? <laughs> and I was hoping, I was faithful that it would, and there was a part of me thinking, oh no, maybe I'll just go to a dead end. And it was exactly what I expected it to be. I guess I'm trying to be cute in some way and say, find your shortcuts, trust your paths you take. <laughs> they will lead you where you need to be. Maybe not always where you expect, but they will lead you somewhere interesting enough. <laughs> Even if at first it seems like a probable dead end. <laughs> Thank you.